Hallo und willkommen, ich bin Meister Lenze and you're watching Get Germanized Top 10 Most Beautiful German Castles. Oh, I am bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get In place number 10, Reichsburg Kochem. The Reichsburg Castle in Kochem was built around 1000 by a count and later changed hands because it was pawned by an emperor for his coronation. And later it was almost destroyed when King Louis XIV conquered the area. Again later the castle was then rebuilt in a neo-gothic style. Sitting on a hill overlooking the Moselle River, the castle has an impressive display of Baroque and Renaissance furniture. In place number 9, Mespelbrunn Castle. The Mespelbrunn Castle was built as a simple house by a knight in the 15th century, but is one of the most nice looking castles in Germany nevertheless. Its simplicity and uh, just its location as well make it a sight to behold. If you want to have a look at it yourself, you can find it in the Spessart between the cities of Frankfurt and Würzburg. Make sure to check out the opening times first though, because it is privately owned. In place number 8, the Wartburg. This castle was built in the 11th century and is located in Eisenach. It is famous for being Martin Luther's hideout in the 16th century when he finished translating the Bible. Also, surprise, surprise, Adolf Hitler in the 20th century tried to replace the castle's cross with a swastika. To reach the castle, you can either take a shuttle bus or take a hike up a steep slope. In place number 7, Liechtenstein Castle. Even though this castle is one of the newer ones in Germany, it still knows to impress with its medieval charm. It was built to honor the Knights of Liechtenstein and stands boldly atop of a hill and can be reached via stone bridge that is connected to another hill. The Neo-Gothic castle is located in the Swabian Alps near Hohnau. It is also known for its collection of historic armors and weapons. In place number six, Schwerin Castle. You can find Schwerin Castle in the main lake of, well, Schwerin, where it served as a home for the Dukes of Mecklenburg for centuries. In the 20th century, it was a college for kindergarten teachers and also a museum. Nowadays, it remains a museum and also is used as a government building for the Mecklenburg Vorpommern state parliament. In place number five, Heidelberg Castle. Heidelberg's castle's ruins are amongst the most important Renaissance structures north of the Alps. It is located on the northern part of a hillside and can be seen from pretty much anywhere in Heidelberg. During the Thirty Years' War, the castle has been completely destroyed and later stones from it have been used to build new houses in the city. The castle then was later rebuilt in many different architectural styles which adds to its beauty today. In place number four, Hohenschwangau Castle. Maximilian II, father of Ludwig II, discovered the castle when he was still the crown prince and then later renovated the ruins. Well, not he himself, but he had it renovated by his servants, obviously. After the rebuilding was complete, it was used as a hunting lodge for a summer palace. The castle is located in the village of Hohenschwangau, near to the town Füssen. In place number three, Burg Elz. The castle is situated between the cities of Trier and Koblenz, near the Moselle River and has been the home of many different families since the 12th century and you can even still find some of the original furniture of the families inside. Sitting on a big rock in the middle of a forest the castle knows to impress with its medieval architecture. Since it has never been destroyed by war it is one of the most well-preserved castles in Germany. In the second place Hohenzollern Castle. The castle was built in the 11th century and sits on top Mount Hohenzollern. The original castle was destroyed over the centuries with only the chapel remaining. The present castle was built in the mid-19th century by King Frederick William IV of Prussia. Located 50 kilometers south of the city of Stuttgart, the castle is home to the Hohenzollern family. Today the castle is a museum. It is filled with treasures like the crown worn by Prussian kings and a uniform worn by Frederick the Great. And in the first place, Neuschwanstein Castle. You probably expected this castle to be number one, right? Well, you guessed right, and it is one of the most well-known castles in the entire world, so no surprise here. Even Walt Disney was inspired by it when he designed the castle for Sleeping Beauty. It was created in the 1800s, but was not created for war like many other castles, but as a retreat for Ludwig II. That's why the inside of the castle is just as beautiful as the outside. There are paintings and chandeliers in every room, and the entire the entire third floor is devoted to Ludwig's love for swan scenes. What were your favorite castles in the list? Would you have chosen different ones? Let me know in the comments below and like the video 
if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe to the channel for free for more videos about the German language and culture and if you really love the channel you can support it on patreon.com slash get germanized. Apart from that thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Director BFH says hello I am soon 16 years old and when I'm 18 will I take to Germany Berlin or something. Do you have some tips? I can talk German fine because my family comes from Germany. Do you have some tips to do my German better than now? By the way, I write German every day on Skype and my and I want my grammar perfect. I hope you can help me. Nice videos. Thank you very much. Um, well, I have made a couple of videos about that topic already. For example, how to learn German it was, I think. And there I pretty much tell you how I um, improved my own language abilities. So have a look at that. And um, yeah, what I said in the video is basically watch movies, learn, read books and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, have a look at the video.